And I tell you what, fucking penguins, I have a word to say to you, young man. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host, Jake. Today, I am joined by Brag from Braggio. Hello. And Ben from Nolan TCG. Hello. How was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh? Let's start with Brag. Yeah, good. Had a good stream last week. Oh, it was a shorter one. I was, I'm like, I'm going to do like four hours. I'm going to do like the first two hours of Yu-Gi-Oh! And then um, two hours into bloody uh, the Pokemon Presents, uh, I hit a, I hit a wall again. 90 minutes is my limit, people. Maybe I should just start taking breaks. Neither here nor there. Um, ranking up in Master Duel with Exo Sister. Um, with Exo? Yeah, it's just fun. It's easy. Like, I like him. I know, I, I just know him, so I just stay safe. Do you know one thing I've noticed in the EXO matches that I've been involved in is that none of them are running like the extra floodgates, like the Dimensional Fissure or the um, Necro Valleys and stuff. And they would win games, like against Sprite, against Branded. If you ran those cards, you would be having a very good time. I'm on I'm on the three on the three boys, the shifters. Yeah, I haven't seen but, anyone drop shifter yet. Yeah, I'm on the three shifters. It's just there is so many matches where you go against which just random stuff that those cards don't affect. Um, I th- if as soon as you get up into like Emerald, you probably should start playing those cards though. Like there's just D, D- Fisher going first, uh, D Fisher going second as well. Like it just changes the game. They have to answer it. Uh, otherwise, not much. A lot of Pokemon TCG stuff. I feel kind of bad about that. Nah. Uh... Well, it's time for Pokemon TCG. <sighs> we got states in like a month. We've got to prep for this. Yeah, I'm I'm keen. It's it's a nice break from uh, some of the like some of those Makunko combos, some of those Libro ones. Me and me and, me and Paul have been getting pretty deep. Actually, I've got to get back to him about the last one because it gets weird. You know, it's just like I look at Pokemon and goes, oh. Uh, Put thing on board. Draw seven. I, I'm playing Lost Box. It's not that simple. But oh, uh, Mew, off you go. Or oh, Lugia, uh, maybe some other cute stuff. Off you go. It's just if you want to break on the brain, um, Pokemon TCG or chess. Or ch- nah, chess was pretty intense. Our chess match was was hardcore. I loved it. I hated every second. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going through an existential crisis. You are. Yeah, like I'm just not enjoying playing the game at the moment i've kind of hit this point where i didn't really give a fuck about the format since two element was like the best deck and now actively not caring about the game has made me worse at the game where i just don't pay attention anymore and then i'll just get fucking shit on by board breakers and i'm just like i just this is, this is annoying me this is not worth my time and yeah, that's just kind of my headspace at the moment. Today didn't make it any better. Today I just got shit on with board breakers all day long. And I was like, oh, cool. Like, game one, round one, I draw my five cards and I'm like, well, I've bricked. Uh, set four back row, set one pass. And my opponent just goes, Harpy's for the last time. Like, yeah. Cool. Like. Draw my hand for game two. It's three back row, Ash, and another set card. And I'm like, Wait. I'm going three back row and set one. Pass. Is there any Labyrinth at Locals? Yes. Yes. Okay, so yeah, right. I'm not playing Labyrinth. I, was <laughs> no, like, I don't no, respect yeah. the deck, but... <laughs> like, I want to play a Trap deck at the moment, but I can't play Paleo, and I'm just like... Well, it's not the way I want to play you, yeah. Play, uh, I, you don't, you uh, don't like fucking Eldritch either, do you? No, I don't, Eldritch just isn't very good anymore. No, nah, um, but... Like, I'll probably pick up Trap Trick, and I'll probably mess around with Trap Trick. It's just so... <laughs> there's just something missing. Yeah, probably. And I wish it wasn't, because a, tra- a, a Trap deck that is Trap Trick-based, not so much the Labyrinth, kind of... Yeah, I, I get what you mean. Like, I don't want to play a brain-dead Trap deck. Like, mm. I don't want to just be sitting here, like, flip a floodgate pass. I want to be trading, like, one-to-one interactions, or one-to-two interactions and trying to actually develop a board state like i don't like trap decks where it's like haha so like, i flipped skill drain so yeah, you're you. looking for paleo still yeah i want a trap deck where i actually have to think about the game and actively use my brain and that's that realistically is trap trick at the moment yeah but at the same mm-hmm. time <clears throat> i have to get trap trick jake feels like he wants to interrupt 
No, I just have Maccas stuck in my throat. Ah. Oh. I'm loving Who's it. Lucky man. Uh, trap trick is just... Uh, yeah, it's... I want to... But it's there. It, there's, it, it's, there's nothing to lose, actually, to be honest. Like, weirdly, what I want to kind of do is just fucking play cash mirrors, but I don't want to buy cash. Yeah. Because, like, I feel as though the cash mirror is very zoo formatty. And I'm... Yeah. I can't believe you'd besmirch the zoo well, format. It well, will a lot of it is just, match. like, one-to-one exchanges in that mirror match. Like, everything is, like, one thing hitting another. It's very rare for you to, like, just lock all your opponent's zones. Is locals still doing the zones? No uh, one's is... doing it. Everyone Everyone's... is maining Nibiru, so everyone is petrified. Yeah, they they, they do the full summon zone. pass, which yes. is why... I was running kaijus, but then no one was doing that. They're doing the two player. I'm like, oh well, this sucks. Nah, now everyone's now, pivoted yeah. to doing that, way. and that's where it's the zoo format where you're, yeah, you're weird. It's very one to one trade. Yeah. Book of Moon, so much fucking value, and it's like, I kind of want to fuck around with that, but I don't want to drop the money on cash tier. So, here we are. Proxy. Yeah. No, I don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to spend a thousand dollars on a deck that I'm going to play for two months. Yeah. Well, we are coming up to... I, mean, uh, I suppose it's not quite at that point yet. At least it hasn't been announced yet. But we are coming up to, like, States and Oshis for us to... Well, yeah, well, we will we'll so, definitely have a list before between now and States. We will. We will. Um, I think we will. It's so far away. It's June. Yeah, but we're also at a point where, like, Cash is the best deck, but it's also very respondable. Yeah. And then you've got a lot of other decks sitting just below it, like well, if they're Branded, due for labyrinth, labyrinth trap trick, well, they're um, due for labyrinth reprints, so they will probably want to go. Oh, if we have it at this level, we might move some more well, packs. Labyrinth reprints are in June, so <laughs> no banlist between down worlds. No, nah, well, this is list, this definitely. is the luxury they have by giving this the vague ass time period of like a few months they can drop it whenever they like they can drop it after worlds when it no longer matters they can't drop it today because the previous ban list is not in effect yet i genuinely thought you were gonna say drop it like it's hot no the pimps are not in the crib with arthur c konami <laughs> jake how was your weekend stay up there uh okay <laughs> Um, I've been fucking around on Master Duel for a little bit. Um, I'm really hoping that something comes out that, like, takes my fancy and I can play it. So I'm getting quite bored of Branded. Like, it's still winning. It's fine, but it's just very boring. He's like, and now that other half of the and, Elements. Well, this is, the, this is the thing that I'm coming across, is, like, it was fine before because I had tier elements in the TCG and then on Master Duel I was playing Branded, but now I'm playing Branded everywhere. Yeah. So I'm just seeing Aluba and Albaz and Branded Fusion way too much. And so you don't want the consistency? You don't want the consistency? No, I like the yeah. differences between oh. them. I prefer that. Like, if I were going up for a thing in testing, I would have to jump on one of the other things or test more in real life. Yeah. I'm not that concerned that Master Duel doesn't match. I actually prefer that they're different. Actually, and that's a good... So here's a good point of you probably shouldn't play the deck because then your ratios will just have to be different. And so you'd be playing it... You'd have to be changing styles so crazily. And even though you've got Maxi in one format and no Maxi in the other and you might have like one or two trades. I mean, no buddy Prosp in... Like the limited Prosp in this format is so rough. Yeah. Where it's like, oh shit, this consistency isn't as good as it is in real life. So you've got to kind of make those changes too between so yeah maybe playing two different decks is just wait for tiered soon surely well we'll get to that in a minute surely Sorry, just load up your master duel we'll have tier elements on the day the next pack expires we'll get into that in a second so um in real life like That's i said like playing that. branded bestial kind of uh last week i kept losing to ash and i was sick of that so i started yeah. maining ash and cross out so that i would lose less uh still came across ash on a couple of occasions it was fine um but yeah now that i'm maining the cross outs it's just less of that um i wish the branded mirror was more like the t mirror and there was more engagement but it's pretty much whoever gets to ash and or branded banishment is the winner yeah it's not fun. banishment is a fucking insane card when your entire opponent's board just gives you access to like nine tenths of your extra deck yeah yeah so yeah it's just it's not 
it's not as fun as I would like it to be. Um, and I found the cache isn't too bad as long as you don't open terribly, which is the biggest issue you have in branded is that sometimes you just open garbage. You kind of need like just one or two points of interaction and then some semblance of play. Yeah, but the thing is like realistically, and this is like only by the evolution of the deck, it's not a one card combo. It's like a two to three card combo to actually get where you want. Yeah. Yep. Um, like you pretty much need to see some sort of bestial in your opening hand, whether it be Lebellion or one of the other ones, or you need to see a way to brand a fusion. That's like the minimum two cards you need. Yeah. Anything else is kind of a bonus. So like ideally you want the cross out for the ash. Um, you might want either Cartesia or one of the other searchable cards off of uh, the bird Mercuria so that you can search other stuff instead. Um, but yeah, it's... You main, you main, um, fucking call by, yeah? We all main call by and Master Jewel. Oh, in yeah, Master yeah, Jewel, yeah, absolutely. Yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't bother with Cross Out. I've thought a couple times about Cross Out, but I just know that I'm not going to be one of those people that sees it. Yeah. My opponent is, almost yeah. constantly, but yeah. I never see it. <laughs> when I was playing Gym Night FTK, I saw Cross Out all the time. When he's, it was a one? So he's one of them. Yeah. Okay. He's the 1%. Cross out and call by, I'd have it in every hand. Oh my And it was Lord. like, hmm, this is good. Actually outrageous. Okay, so amend that statement onto every time he said FTK is good, that this man was opening um, cross out and fucking noble. Yeah, one to two by. negations okay. for you interruption. You guys, got, you guys have seen the amount of times that I've been hit with a maxi, and I'm just like, I'm just going to keep going. And then they have 20 cards in hand, and you've been impermed and ash, and you're just like, Still doesn't matter. Can't. Oh, Can't. just on that point too. Um, I was versing a synchro player yesterday, mm -hmm. um, and they went to like just go normal summon um, one of the dudes, and I was like, okay, well, and it was like clearly a synchro card, and I was like, okay, we dropped the maxi now. We see how we go. He played. He kept going. Summon crystal wing. Um, the turn that I drew Nibiru, like the Nibiru draw, was the crystal wing, and I was yeah. like, okay, so I can't drop this right now. So I have to wait a little bit. And then he summoned some more, activated double summon. I'm like, bro's going in. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, I just need to draw Imperm, and then it'll be fine. So I drew Imperm, the, um, I think the summon before he used, yeah, the summon before he used double summon. I was like, yeah. okay, well, if he's got another summon up his sleeve, I don't want a Nibiru now, yeah. because he's just going to extend. So I'll wait to see what he summons, and then Nibiru from there. Um, what he summoned off the double summon was the Wicked Eraser. If any oh. of you are familiar with that. What? Um, I mean, so tribute <laughs> tribute three monsters. Um, the turn this card is normal summoned, your opponent can't activate spells or traps for the next two turns after this activation. Oh. So then I had to go chain Nibiru, he changed Crystal Wing, I chained Imperm because that was the only window I had Imperm in. Yep. So okay. that was that was the board. It was just Crystal Wing uh, sorry, the Nibiru token pass. Yeah. I just maxed this man on a synchro turn. I had so many cards in it. <laughs> <laughs> it was obnoxious and I was like I can't use half of this shit I'm playing branded yeah <laughs> <laughs> I ended up okay just, just just set branded in red discard for hand size pass well, well this is pretty much what I ended up doing I um had the ash dragon in hand so I pitched one of the spells and traps from hand so I could summon it and put yep. more damage on board summon the Galuba out of the I think it would end up being branded banishment uh, punch 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 set five and then pass, and then discarded snow as the... Um, oh! <laughs> so, like, it's set up really good, but, uh, like, it's two turns. So my turn and his next turn, yeah. I couldn't use any spells and traps. So I was, like, all dependent on snow being able to flip down a piece of interaction. I'm sure he's playing just gas turbo, so the moment he normal summons, if you flip it, it's game over. <laughs> well, that ended up being the case. Yeah. But, yeah, that I just found that funny. That was a funny interaction that I had. Is Snow the best discard for hand size ever? It kind of is, yeah. yeah it's really good. Discard for hand size... Um... Necro Gardener? What's the one that banishes to stop time from being destroyed by battle? Uh, ooh, is it Necro Gardener? Is that the one? I only know, um... Or Necro Gardener negates an attack. And, yeah, that's and, it. And, and, uh, yeah, and or Eternal Magnetic and, Turtle. And Turtle yeah. as well. Discard Ulti Necro Gardener for hand size. Yeah, but, you <laughs> but you prefer, um... But you prefer uh, Fairy Blossom. Fairy Blossom. What the hell? Fairy Blossom. Fairy, no. fairy Blossom. No, but this is an ulti. Where no, ulti no. snow? Yeah, where ulti snow? Actually, it's too late. They could have done it in that brief period where we had snow back, but no. No. Fairy Blossom. 
She does kind of look like a bit like um, Ash Blossom, doesn't she? Yes. I mean, the tail. The tail and the ears. Yeah. They're the same archetype. Yeah. Fairy tale and ghost girls are the same. Don't speak to me or my children ever again. Uh, so, still in Master Duel. Uh, actually, no. No, we'll start on Master Duel. We'll I'm sure the implications of that statement. Yeah, no, let's same. continue. Uh, so, uh, the two festivals that they had going at the moment, the uh, Legend... Is it... I can't remember what it's called. The theme one. The um, Duelist of Legends of... Legend Anthology. That's the Place Life one. Was that the previous one? No, no, no. It, it had Slifer as an option. Um, yeah, so, yeah. So the Legend Life. Anthology and the Xyz Festival so are now Slifer. over. Um, both were half as long, but it felt nice that you had, like, the option... Like, granted, I was playing the, the same deck in both, but you had the option of playing two different festivals with two different decks. Um, I appreciated the Legends Anthology. I wish it was more restrictive on what you could play. Yeah. But I got through it relatively easily, so I was like... Mm. The archetypes that they led in there were weird. I think we went over this last week. Like, I versus yeah. two ships, was a, which I was not expecting yeah. to see. It, it should have been, like... Realistically, it should have been, like, DM era or GX era decks. It should have Maybe been. I feel the a... issue with that is that they would have probably been more inclined to give you Dark Magician as one of the loader decks, and because yeah. they just released the structure deck, that was clearly something they did not want to do. You can do Jaden, you can do Kyber, and you can do a Joey deck. That's effectively what they did. Yeah, exactly. But they should have restricted the rest of the format down. Yeah. Like, I did appreciate some of the restrictions, like the fact that, like, Imperm was at one, um, there was no Ash. Like, I think Effect Veiler was, like, one of the few hand traps that were available. Yeah, because it's Search of Blue Eyes. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> um, so, yeah, um, so those are now all finished, um, and they have just started the Dual Trial. Has anyone here tried the Dual Trial? Mm -hmm. um, I didn't want to be under trial, so, <laughs> no. I'll give it a try uh, tomorrow. It is the most egregious and unrewarding thing they have ever done. So, if, if you're not familiar, if Konami, you haven't been on... finding new ways to Konami. Yeah, so, um, what it is, is uh, you have three loner decks, which you have to choose. You cannot build your own. Woo! They're Highlander, one of Synchro, one of Hero, and one of Utopia Exe. So the heroes get the links? No. Ah, oh, good. Okay. No, no, it's like Jaden level heroes. Uh, I'm okay with this. It's Highlander, so you get like one of everything, yep. but yeah. it's not good everything. It's I very, very bad I everything. I genuinely think this is a really good idea. It was can the verse, worst can you thing. Friends? I mean, outside of it, you can if you build the deck, but oh, like there's oh, no oh. room that you can take it to. Um, right, we need to build anime Highlander decks. Yeah, right. So, yeah. in Master Jewel or IRL? IRL. Right. So the actual problem I have with this is that not only were the decks terribly made and on purposely made so, Yep. you win three duels, you get one pack. Hmm. And that is the end of the festival, or the trial. That is it. Win three duels, get one pack of Sprite of Miracles. No, no guaranteed ultras, because I pulled garbage. Hmm. And that is it. Well, that's alright though. Yeah, that makes me feel less no, it's not. friendly it's not towards right. this. Yeah, you'd, you'd want 100 per game. And like, if you were winning these things in quick succession, that would be fine. But you simply aren't. It's actually, like, I picked Synchro, which maybe was my problem. It's the Jaden level ones, where they all need a specific tuner. You say actually. Ones? I don't know what their fucking names are. Well, I know what we're doing tomorrow night. 9 o'clock. Australia is standard time. We, it's we so play, it's we so play. bad. You're gonna, you're gonna live through it again. It is the w that's fine because I don't have to do any of the things. Yeah. Like the fact if they were all generic synchros that just didn't have very good effects, I'd be fine with that. But not only were they specific tuners, they all sucked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they all okay. suck so bad. That's how it used to be. Back in the day, back in the schoolyard. Remember the days in the when old we're hanging yard? out? Yeah. We like friends. I feel that the. Xyz and the fusions would be a lot easier, but I just had no interest in those. Imagine <laughs> back in the day, you're all playing these like this format of card in the schoolyard, and someone summons like fucking Jet Warrior, and someone goes, "You know, Jet Synchron's gonna be banned one day." <laughs> yeah, 
This no card job. has a million implications you could never truly understand, you dumb child. <laughs> <laughs> and here you are, just whacking it around, fucking bending it. I mean, that could be said for almost any card, right? Yeah. My end of Anubis is in terrible condition. You should <laughs> see my old metamorphosis. It's embarrassing. Uh, besides that, though, uh, we do have a new solo mode that came out, the uh, Rika Fairies. Um, Ugh. It wasn't bad. Someone tell Marvin. I'm sure he's aware. Uh, I don't think he's the, aware. The other thing is, too, if he's not playing Master Duel, there's a chance that he has to play through, like, seven other solo modes to get access. Don't tell Marvin. <laughs> so, they just dropped off the map, didn't they, Rikas? Yeah, because it's, like, really easy to counter. <laughs> so, yeah, it was very much when, a new deck. Yeah. It's one of those decks that's really, really good if you don't know what you're doing against it. Like, just stop them from tributing your shit and your Gucci. <laughs> it's kind of like how um, Predator Plant branded had, mm. like, that one YCS. And then it turned out all those players were, tre- were cheating. <laughs> oh, were they all doing the Chimera thing? I'm assuming so. Because <laughs> it, once it did come out, the pack was doing that. They all seemingly lost. <laughs> Funny that. Uh... Actually, speaking of uh, Master Duel and Pack, uh, we do have uh, on March tenth the uh, one year anniversary Master Duel Invitational, uh, mm-hmm. which is being streamed. Well, I hope it's being streamed. Can all things considered? I'm really disappointed that I wasn't invited. Yeah. So um, on the topic of people that have been invited, at this stage there seems to be ten, which is an odd number to have in that kind of tournament, unless it's like a single elim kind of thing or maybe double Grand elim, Robin. I think. I think we double elim and through to top four. Yeah, that's my that's that's probably a fair guess. So, um, of the ten uh, Yugi tubers that have been invited, let's just run them through. Uh, so we've got Trizula TV, Tom Box, uh, DZ, uh, some woman I've never heard of before called Shiggies. She's cosplaying as Iris Swordsol. Cool. Don't know anything else about her. Uh, Team APS. That's Paul from Team APS. I don't actually know their names. That's Paul I, from Team for APS. The lo- for the longest time, there was another dude. I can't remember what um, the name of the channel was, but I assumed they were the same person because they sounded exactly the same, and one of them never showed their face on his things. It was just okay. like all no, that's that's much less implicating of you. Yeah, I'm not. No, bad, bad. Anyway, um, the next person. Uh, what is his name? Uh, Chad. Yeah, we'll go with that. Um, then Pack TCG. Eh. Jake really doesn't like that. I fucking hate him. Um, There's a few guy, enemies in that list. Uh, Paulo uh, P R R J uh, Goncarvis. Don't know who he is either. Uh, He's and actually then, a really nice guy. I'm sure he is. Yeah, he is. Uh, and then the last two, uh, Fusili and Saikuno. Jake. So earlier today, Jake went to tell me this. Yeah. Expecting me to know who these people were. No, no, no. I no. I prefaced it by saying that you probably have no idea so who any of these people he are. He stops me in my place and he's like, guess who got invited to the Master thing? Opened his phone, looked at them and went, Ben's not going to know who the fuck these people are. <laughs> Do you know who either of these people are? Yeah. They why? Play, they play a fair bit. Yeah, but why? I mean, it's, but heaps of their content ends up on fucking Instagram and shit all of, like as well. Um, yeah, they're probably good. They, they do content. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's literally the only reason that they're going but, is just to hide. Well, they're master duel players. They're 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 in on the they're they're in on it. I hadn't heard of either of the two people that made the finals for the Euro tour. No, wait, one of them I had heard of. It was the person playing Spiral in the Euros. Was that, was the, like, that was the girl, wasn't it? Wasn't yeah, the girl playing Spiral? Yeah, yeah, but I'd never heard of her before, and I was like, I'm really proud of you. It is prob- Spiral. It is probably a I Euro like thing, though, right? Yeah, probably. Like, Leonardo's, like, oh, these people are huge Italian YouTubers, but, like, no one's ever heard of them in English, but they're actually massive. Yeah. Well, the other thing is, too, like, if you go to Europe and you go, like, oh, if you watch Nolan TCG, they probably have no idea who the fuck you are, either. I don't know. People in Portugal seemingly know who I am. <laughs> Portugal. Yeah. Thank My you. viewership's, like, 8% Portuguese. Come to Portugal. That's sick. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it will be interesting to see how this all plays out, if they put them under any sort of, like, 
hush hush ban list like I suspected they did last time. Yeah. Because I feel like well the I think, thing I think they had the choice of like three decks and they had to submit the three decks that they wanted. And then Konami went we need to have one of each deck. So you've got this deck, you've got this deck, you've got this deck, you've got this deck. Because there was an odd spread, and some people were playing decks like, um, uh, here's another YouTuber, uh, Yugi YouTuber I'm not a big fan of, purely because I just can't listen to him. Um, I can't remember. Um, he was playing the Dogmatica Ritual. Oh, um, 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 um the Lithium? guy that talks like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I just, I can't. <laughs> that and was a terrible impersonation. It was. It wasn't great. And he's a... What's he's going a, on, guys? What's going on, guys? Uh, yeah, I can't do that. Um, but yeah, uh, it was a weird spread. And then there was a dude playing Umi Control. Like, yeah. just really... I don't know oh, what oh, issue we have with Lithium. Sona I like you. Lithium. Oh, look, he's fine. I just, I cannot listen to him. Lithium's great for just, like, when a deck gets announced and you want to know what it can do when it's playing through no hand, hand traps at all. <laughs> what kind can of I do? Kind of optimized. Lithium's really, really good. Because those videos come out, like, two hours after those deck cards are announced and he's already found a way to be like, now let's look at this, guys. We're going to do this full combo. <laughs> what country is he from? I don't know. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was... It started as lithium, and then it, I think it turned into like Boston. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was um, yeah. It was a lovely round the country trip or round the world trip, I should say. Yes. Uh, but moving on to the TCG, we have more news on the um, what's it called again? Maze of I want to say Maze of Mystery, but I know that's not Maze it. of Memories. Memories. That's it's it. It's shit. It's really not great. Um, Do you have a Baron already? Yes? Oh, don't need to buy the fucking set? Yeah, I, I do now. I'm like... Yeah. I only just got my Baron. I'm like, look, I'm going to do this for you, but I shouldn't. The Gate Guardian stuff looks cool. Yeah. However, yeah. it's not cool. It's just about finding decks that pair well to play them out. Like, So what deck would have an even like a 500 match against it? Like, Just finding that deck and then just having them verse each other. So, after like, watching some replays of it fun. on um, YouTube, it's not terrible. Hmm. I just think, yeah, it it probably would have lived and died in the tier format, where you can just bin all this shit for free. Yeah. But it's just not viable. Also, it's it's as good as it was going to be, as good as it should be. I think we should all just go, you know what, I don't think I'm keen for a busted gate guarding our type. I just, I'm not in that headspace. Just... Make them all right, and we move. Yeah, that, that's really all you need to do. They just need to be okay. I don't know how you sell sets with those cards, but... <laughs> well, yeah, other than the reprints... I mean, Barons. Some of those collectors are nice. Yeah, some of the collectors are nice. I had a picture of those. Where did that go? Here we go. Uh, so this is only some of them. So we've got the new Black Luster Ritual, which I don't know what it does, nor care. Uh, the new uh, Link is it the link six one two three link four eight. five uh the link five firewall that's coming out um that's kind of like it's a dark fluid but it's not the same as the dark fluid we had before um dual academy for some reason got oh, like yeah i feel like that's just it's, like it's it's an anime set jake yeah uh uh teardrop rika queen got uh collectors yeah. rare avramax got one i'm actually kind of keen that's, for that yeah that's a good collectors rare. um some stardust thing that but i don't know what it's uh, Barone, obviously. Uh, the OG Gate Guardian. I God like of that. Rare. That's kind of cool. And Guardian Chimera. I also like that. Yeah. yeah. I'd need to see it in person whether I when I decide whether I like it or not. These Collector's Rares aren't that bad, except for the Link. Uh, the, the, sorry, the Blue Eyes. Not Link. The, the... <laughs> you go like this. Here, Black Luster Sword. Synchro. Okay, why are you saying Blue Eyes, though? Because it's coloured blue. <laughs> you just got hyper fixated on the word blue eyes. It's, it's like blue. Blue, blue. It starts with a blur. It starts with a black. Blur. BL. Blur. What kind of Stardust size? No, that's blur. Well, this what is you're a... thinking is blur. It's not blur. <laughs> no, it's blur. Blur. Anyway. Blur or blur? Let's get a look at those little eyes there, Stardust. Chocolate blur. Um, yeah, I'm. I'll buy packs of this for funsies, but I won't be diving into this set. That's a terrible investment. Oh, yeah. It's not an investment. Yeah, I said funsies. Investing's not funsies. You can invest in... Inve other things investing is fun. 
<laughs> Crypto. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> um, other than that, though, we did have an announcement from the OCG of an upcoming structure deck. What could it possibly be? Oh, yeah, I remember now. Why did they, why, why did they just not do the Fire Lion and the Ocean Structure Decks again? They just stopped on the, the Reloaded Decks? They this... probably just didn't want to think of, like, how those what? decks would actually work as a structure. Like, before it was just like, these are Fire and these are Water. Whereas if they made them in a Structure Deck now, they'd have to actually go, how do these work as a cohesive archetype? Bragg's pondering right now as to whether or not this Structure Deck is the Structure Deck I'm talking about. So, Fire Away, Jake. Give us the news. Red Dragon Archfiend! Okay, yeah, no, this is... No, so, yeah, this is... Because, yeah, they swap between... They do one new structure, one character structure. Yeah, but they skip them. Yeah. Yeah, they seemingly got to them, and then stopped. But they didn't do anything more, right? But I'm just no. saying, we, are we just in a later part of the cycle? So, but this was, like, pre-COVID, I think. Really? Yeah, yeah, really? they were going through the list of OG structure decks, doing the, like, reloads. Yeah. And then they just stopped. I like Fire Lion. Probably one of the last structure yeah. decks I ever actually brought. I saw the. I mean, I saw the Dark Magician reloaded one, not too long ago. No, the, no. The the, the the not Dark Magician, the Endominium one. That's a reloaded, isn't it? I think so. Yeah, Endymion's a reload. The yeah. Agent one, not that we got it in a structure deck, was a reload. But yeah. yeah. So. Dark World was one as well. Because no, I mean, I so the they must have just done next. Wasn't the reload for the Agent one the Fairy deck that we got the Counter Fairy deck? No. Okay. Because that wasn't Endymion. Every, the, like, oh, sorry, Hyperion. Hyperion yep. was in the structure deck. Okay. They just, yeah, they skipped Fire Lion and the Didalus deck. Yeah. Daedalus. And, and again, I think it's just purely because they couldn't be bothered working out how that would actually work. I like the Fire Lion deck. Okay. It's fucking dog shit, but it's Fire Lion. All right. I want a new Fire We've... Lion. When are they doing the Fire Lion retrain? Oh my god, this is Friday night when I was just whinging about the pudding. Where's my pudding? <laughs> uh, but anyway, I'm Send looking. Me pudding. I'm looking forward to the um, Archfiend structure deck. I was all like, I always kind of liked that archetype, but it was just always a couple steps behind whatever meta it was ever viable in. So I'll be yeah. keen to see whether they actually make this broken. Not broken. I just want it to be. Mm. I just want it to be good. We've gotten enough synchro support now that I think. They kind of can't print anything that's overly busted. Because there's a lot of just kind of semi-generic, semi-non-generic good synchro cards that, like... I think they've not shit put enough attention busted. into synchros for a long time. Like, they've banned all the synchro enablers, we're, we're, but they haven't banned any synchros. We're getting all of those, like, other the, synchro cards The Chaos soon. King, the Bestial and Dogmatica one. Um, yeah, we've still got Baron, which is fucking stupid but aren't we also getting a, a synchro engine on the way as well i swear we're getting a synchro engine in the next set oh the um yes um yeah. what are they called again look that's it's too much thought the visa star frost line it's the next one of those okay dark but worlds let's go with the fact that i agree with jake <laughs> dark worlds were in that structure deck. Yeah, yeah the dark worlds were in the line yeah so yeah, that was only, that was only three months ago so we get character deck normal structure so we're yeah but dark worlds came well after no way fire fire deck fire, and water deck were goat format what on oh, fire lion and the water deck oh no no because the, they, they started before because they didn't do a red eyes one either yes they started on the monarchs so they just never did the original structures they started on monarchs oh, and went they, forward i thought they started before anyway Oh, it's just occurred to me, um, usually we start with like, oh, not start, start, but like we usually talk about any big tournaments that have happened. Um, the New Zealand Open happened yesterday. What won that event? Labyrinth? No, no, Mathmec. Mathmec, that's... It, the... it came down to even losing the end. It was really curious to see New Zealand... It's, it's always interesting to see New Zealand event. <laughs> It was really <laughs> curious to <laughs> see <laughs> New Zealand events put on a grand scale because New Zealand events are often fucked. And <laughs> literally, literally, <laughs> this event is an encapsulation of the Your Move TCG deck lists that you see on Facebook. Where it's like, well, this deck won a locals. You just saw their best player in New Zealand 
actively playing just fucking Scareclaw, pure Scareclaw, on stream. Like, that is where they are at. It, uh, that country is small enough, and everyone there is genuinely nice enough that they'll go, Oh, that's the best deck. Let's not play that, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I apologize for anyone that I've just defended. <laughs> He's the Cowboy for Game Yu Gi Oh podcast is not intended to offend anyone except for Mystic Mind players. And we haven't had to offend them because they all died. They didn't die. They're just in prison. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's a little bit of a clusterfuck, to be honest. When someone told me that it was Math Mech vs. Labyrinth in the final, I'm like, yeah. why is this being stringed? Everyone openly acknowledges just to not play the best deck in this end. It's a common belief. Do you reckon it's just like a mega supply issue? No, 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 no. Even the commentators on stream were like, yeah, in New Zealand, we just don't play the best deck of here. We just agree not to play it. And I'm actually, and I'm all for, like, that stream co- coverage and quality was up to par. No, I, it I was really, really good. I really like it. And I, re- I really like its place. I just wish that it... Also, that, I watch the podcast. I wish those opportunities were afforded to other locals with a backing of, like, a guaranteed viewership being on that channel. Like, I think they should out- do outreach to uh, Queensland locals then keep going and then just follow around the globe of just hey give someone an open like once a month and then you rotate it so we have well, something they, to watch on every week they streamed New Zealand open last year as well yeah and um, I'm all for more of this but in different markets not cooked markets ultimately <laughs> it's it's super fucking perplexing as to how they can stream New Zealand open but they can't stream YCS Sydney and like I get that you can if you're Konami you can turn around and be like New Zealand Open it's just something we put out there but like those guys genuinely care and the team over there like genuinely cares about their their scene Mm. in New Zealand and they want to see it do well and then you move across the ocean to us and then they're just like too big to fail just fucking let it go and it's like bruh I feel like let's not turn to magic yeah and there's also just it's not that hard it's not. It's just not that hard. Like there's and there's plenty of other people that would be willing to do it at a reasonable price, and I'm sure there'll be people who do it for free, but they shouldn't. Yes. Uh, yeah. It's just weird that they just aren't doing more outreach of that. Like they'll gladly bring the influencers in. I hate that word. Uh, content creators in. I still hate that word. Pay they'll bring five, them in. Pay me five thousand dollars and give me a stable connection. I can stream YCS. Yes. Yeah. It's not. It's and. It was a pretty simple setup over there, and simple and effective. Yeah. It's what it, it's like a five man team. Yeah, like it's like including the commentary team. Like it doesn't need to be super complicated. No, yeah. it, like they know what they're doing. They come in, they set it up, and they're Gucci. And like we're gonna be tuning in on March tenth to watch the fucking Masterville one, and that the production value there, where they have like an entire set yeah. built, especially so, last time their set really good. Quality of the stream, fucking terrible. terrible. It was so very bad. bad last time. So bad. I tuned in multiple times and was like, "This is laggy as fuck." Oh, okay, yeah. I am going to stop watching this now. Yeah. Yeah, like obviously the stability thing, but also how do they fuck it up? This is the client. All right, <laughs> um. Yeah, it perplexes me how that happened, but hopefully. If more people are loud about this subject next year, we'll get a shake. So everyone's loud about the subject. That they is literally just don't give a fuck. Yeah, I, it's kind of I, wild. That. I genuinely would like to see the YCS in New Zealand because I think they would actually care. Yes. I think Konami yes. would put in effort. And then you got those New Zealand guys that would definitely jump on board and, and cover the stream. I'd do it. And be in. YCS, whichever place we went to last time, bring it on. The Nats? Not not Nats. YCS. Oceanics. No, YCS. Give me no, no, as in, but where you went. I would rather go to YCS Auckland than go to YCS Melbourne. Mm. Every day of the week. Wow. I fucking hate Melbourne. Why? Melbourne's great. Mm. Mm. Cherry's on the... In the cherries just start from the cop shop. Yeah, that means they can call the police. Yeah, you get, you get out and battle, you just <laughs> yeah. head right up. Yes. <laughs> I walk in the chair and they're like, oh, this is why we moved to the police station. That guy that bands here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bam, bam. Did nothing wrong. Yeah, it's, I did nothing wrong. No. Except take down their Twitch stream, which they deserved. 
go towards the Kiwis for it. Maybe it's just maybe Australians just can't stream. That might be it. Our cooked internet. That could be it. You can that could spot. be it. Well, there's a booty on the television. Ah. Oh. Yeah, that ad's been playing on repeat. It's really weird. Mm. Anyway, uh, moving on. Uh, we do have uh, some questions. If you weren't aware, we do have a Discord. Link will be in the description below. Feel free to jump in, say hi, and ask us questions. Battles uh, of Legend got announced for uh, June. I mentioned it earlier, but we didn't cover it in the news. We covered it last week. Oh, well, we covered it again this week. <laughs> last week's the only episode I haven't listened to. <gasps> Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> uh, I wonder what I wonder what's in there. Yeah, give us questions. First question comes to us from Loza. How close is DM to being meta? Serious question, by the way. DM needs a negate. They have a negate. It just locks them. They need a easier way to get to the good. They need better trap cards. <laughs> yeah, mag magician's navigation is kind of shit. Yeah, they need. Or or an effect monster, or, an, or a link monster that replicates with the Dragoon function. Like a broken link monster. Like, so oh. they can have two Dragoon. Actually, circling back to the trap, they actually have a very good trap. It's just situational. The continuous one, it's like tribute a Dark Condition or Dark Condition Girl to negate an effect. Yeah. Does it destroy the card? Uh, I cannot remember. Give the a hand trap. They have one. It's just honest. <laughs> no, not, them, not actually honest. It's give them one that's like discard, negate an effect, then special DM from deck or something. No, they have that. Uh, Magic Karibo does that. If you take damage at any it point... It doesn't negate an effect, though. Give well, them like an I'm Ash sorry. Blossom that also specials from deck. Give them an Ash Blossom that can be Ash Blossom. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you want. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and negate an effect and... Yeah, so like it's an Ash Blossom and then summons DM from deck. Yeah, and so you have to play them. Yeah. You can cool. like... Make it by the space of the curtain. Yeah, lore-wise you can go off curtain. Or... Or hats. Yeah. Just give them a good magical hats. Give them a searchable magical hats. Actually, yeah, they did searchable mirror for searchable um, magic cylinder. Where's searchable magical hats? Here we are. Just give them a fucking... Floodgate that just if you control Dark Magician, your opponent, opponent can't activate cards or effects. How that would be the link cards to or effects? Yep, that's yeah. so obnoxious. Yes, <laughs> the full wrong guy. They have to kaiju you. Does make not it make it not guy. searchable? But if you control Dark Magician, yeah, so make find it, a way to make, make it to Myas fusion then. Yeah, make it like to Myas. Yeah, Jesus Christ. If you uh, control very specifically a level seven spellcaster that is a dark with twenty five hundred attack, twenty one hundred defense, uh, your opponent can't act activate cards or effects. So, uh, to answer your question, Loza, apparently it needs a lot. No, I mean <laughs> only one of those. It sure. needs a couple of just like because it can do everything else <laughs> immediately. You're just like it just needs one of those, and Ben's like, ah, oh, needs a couple. <laughs> <laughs> you reckon? Prosperity for that card I've just come up with. Set it. Oh yeah, and, the, and an extra consistency card, maybe. Sure. Yeah. Give him pot of a billion. Yeah. Give him literally. Give us all pot of greed. No, just if you control Dark Magician, draw two cards. Or give him an engage that's like, if Dark Magician is in your graveyard, add one card that lists Dark Magician from deck to hand, then draw one card. Or, or just generically add one Dark Magician listed card from deck to hand. Then if you have a Dark Magician in your hand, on your field or graveyard, draw one card. Just give them all the Sky Striker cards, but change three spells to Dark Magician in on field or in graveyard. Do it. Do it. Jesus Christ. I think that's a great idea. I mean, it would have been great if you'd submitted those for his creator card. No, nah, I submitted an X-Seas and I don't know if he talked about it. Well, there's eight episodes where he might have mentioned it. Perhaps you should watch them. I was hoping he would tell me. <laughs> <laughs> that, and I don't know if it was a fever dream of me submitting it. I'm fairly <laughs> sure I came up with this card when I was going to sleep. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Um, so, next question. I think that's one question. Uh, it's from... Oh, no, he's got a few. Uh, next question is from Crobat5. Um, would this card uh, be any good if Konami printed it? Uh, this uh -oh. card is... Elemental Hero, the Great Protector, level 10 fusion, attack and defense, both 4k, uh, must be fusion summoned, uh, needs Neos plus an Elemental Hero fusion monster. 
Uh, when your opponent activates a card effect that targets another elemental hero you control, quick effect, send the top three cards of your deck to the graveyard, and then apply the following effects based on what was, uh, it says used, but I'm going to say sent. Mm. Uh, spell and trap negate the effect, then you can set one spell or trap from your hand or graveyard to your field that specifically mentions hero in its text. Uh, and then if it's a monster, destroy that monster, even though it didn't specifically say monster effect in the thing, but that's okay. Mm. Um, destroy that monster. Uh, I lost it. There it is. Destroy that monster, and if you do, your opponent takes damage equal to its original attack. Kami uh, would definitely print that card because it would have to overtake and give me in for the amount of fucking text. <laughs> Not that much text. That summoning conditions. Uh, no, nah, it's fine. It's no, no, they're, they're, yeah, yeah, it's easy now. Wait, it's hilarious easy. Yeah. Yeah, you just. Ah, yeah. that's fine. You, yeah. It's okay. I was thinking of you old Neos before. Search Miracle but... Fusion, then Link 2, then activate Miracle Fusion. Yeah. Perfect. Miracle. Um, But yeah, to answer your question, yeah, that yeah, is probably Miracle. on par with something they would print because it's. Uh, that's alright. Yeah. It's summonable, and it can possibly negate. <laughs> Give it to DM. <laughs> if you mill DM, negate. If you mill the DM spell card, yeah. destroy I still it. keep this elemental hero um, fusion materials. They need Jackpot 7 support. <laughs> Where's Jackpot 7 support? It's a negate that then you're like... Oh, please never. You reveal the top 7 cards of your deck, and if like the other copy of that card is in your top 7 cards, it negates the effect. And then you shuffle your deck again. They should make oh, that would be so excavate fun. the top seven. Yeah. Reveal, uh, re- uh, reveal one, banish face down, excavate another seven. <laughs> so try and hit the sevens in three lots, and you. But banish. they need to be banished by your opponent's card effect. Oh, then like just write it the other way, like <laughs> just just change it. <laughs> reveal the top seven cards of your deck. Your opponent uh, chooses six of them and banishes them all face down. <laughs> the other one card goes back into your deck. Also, it needs to be banished face up. Yeah. But I'm saying, I'm, say I'm saying, down. I'm saying, you should banish the you rest. You absolutely down. said face down. Look it says... back on the tape. <laughs> Jesus. Next question again from Crowbat Five. Uh, when you buy new products, uh, booster boxes, singles, uh, cases, etc., uh, because the set looks amazing, is it better to keep the cards that might be relevant to play for the future or current format, or is it better to sell them? Um, oh, to add them to the bulk uh, when you sell your bulk then possibly pick up uh, what you need when they become relevant never sell hodl hodl everything um, I don't know how I mean I don't know how I would deal with a full case to be honest I don't think I've, I've never gone solo in a full case by myself and not ended up I, usually it's been a third or half yep, yep, yep. Um, so I've always been able to just keep the I just leave the commons in a box I put that box on the shelf and if I see that a card's missing, like, I go, oh, this good commons from this set, go to the box, go through and get the common. Then, by the boxes by themselves are pretty handy. They fall apart. It's pretty messy. Yeah. But they're handy. There's most of a case sitting over there yeah, right now. Yeah, like power the element just sitting there. Yep. Actually, I've got most, like, so I think set. every non-shiny card from Rise of the Duelist is still sitting up in the case in my cupboard. I've got, like, I had a good run last year of, like, I've, I've got this sorted, how I'm going to sort all my stuff, and then just over the, like, over the summer, I just hated my idea, and don't know what I'm going to do. I want to go through and sort all my stuff out again. It's just so much. It was um, nice in the early days when I just had the two big bulk boxes, and they were all alphabetized. It was very nice, but it's just not like shit's that. Shit's got out of hand. Yeah. I've got, like, four alphabetized boxes, and then, like, two completely unalphabetized boxes. Cool. And then my desk is also covered in cards. Yeah. I'm like... Yeah. i also fairly sure I have a Woolies bag filled with bulk. <laughs> a Woolies bag. Yeah, I do that yeah. with Pokemon where if enough bulk builds up, I'm just like, one of my workmates, kids will love this Woolies bag of cards. Your problem now, mate. <laughs> Run away! Wait, That's I, a great thing. It's already in the Woolies bag. You just chuck it straight in the bin. In um, the Woolies bag of bulk, I'm fairly sure all the Ultras from that set are just chilling. I'm fairly sure that there's uh, secret snails in there as well. Oh, God. Well, they're as bad as good as ultras. Um, they're about as good as cons. <laughs> Sorry, Andrew. <laughs> um, but to answer your question, it's good to hang on to your bulk um, if you can. 
Um, because yeah, you do get to a point where like two, three years down the track, a random common will come up, or and you're you just don't missing wanna, cards. You don't want to wait in the, like wait on that mail, like yeah. spending a buck for four of a, four of the card and waiting them. Like you just want to go and just go easy, or hit up a group chat and get get it. Like I remember, I decided I was going to buy a case of every main set, and I gave up on that like immediately. Oh, it would cost way too much. Oh, so six thousand dollars a year. Yeah, way too much. How much do you think we spend on a year a year? I don't want to... <laughs> <laughs> Around tax time last year, I was going to ask myself that question. Decided not to. I decided I didn't want to know. Like, <laughs> attending every Tuesday Locals costs you 520 bucks a year. Yeah, that's okay. That's Locals, though. Yeah. That's, like, that's cheaper than a gym membership. Yeah. Yeah. It's almost the opposite of a gym membership. Nah... It's good when you win. The, it's good when you win tournaments because you at least can go. Oh, I've got some this stuff the, back for that. Yeah, this is the thing. It's been a while since I've like felt comfortable taking a fun deck to locals because it's like competitive drive. Need to win. Need to win. Need to win. Yeah. Need to win. Need to win. Need and to win, it need sucks win. sitting there for four hours and you walk away with fucking nothing. You guys have pulled bo- both pulled an ulti in the last two months and moved no. it. Yeah. Yes. In the, yes. Last, in two the last two months, two months, absolutely not. Yeah, I don't think we've had OTS packs for the last two months. Last two months of me playing. So I'm just fairly sure I had. So, so the last three and a half. In years. August twenty. 20- <laughs> that this is the thing. If OTS were there and there was like a random luck sack chance of hitting an ulti, I probably would play a more fun deck every now and again. But it's just not a thing. Yeah, the OTS system of destroy is fucked nowadays. Even we don't even actually currently have an OTS system. Next question, Jake. We Next, got on a tangent. We have, but that's okay. Next question is from 6 by 6 uh, Where can you sell bulk? My locals doesn't buy it. Mikijo Collectibles buys bulk. They do. Um, it's they pay a pretty, decent price. They do. And it's a fairly easy system. Like, you need to tell them what you're planning to submit. They do a check when you actually submit it all and then send you the money. And they pay for the actual shipping as well, which is good. Um, so, yeah, fairly simple, pain-free way to get rid of it if you've got an excessive amount. Yes. Um, I found it was a good opportunity when I did it to actually go through, check what I had. I got rid of an insane amount of DDD cards that I simply didn't need. Because there were those early days of DDDs where they're all common and then they got reprinted later and they just didn't do anything. And I had not only the stuff that I bought that had the DDDs in it, but also the commons of the DDDs in the collection that I bought from another friend. So ah. there was simply too many. That is a lot it of was did he these nuts? Got him. So simple. Um, yeah, I would suggest that. Um, I don't know if Chaotic still buys them. There was a time where they did, but I don't think they do. Nathan pays a bit of price. Just go to Nikija. Yeah, there is that too. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but um, yeah, not many questions this week, unfortunately. Where's the questions? Yeah, give us some questions, please, people. If you don't know, our Discord is in the description down below. Head down there and submit your questions. Also join, have a chat. There's, There's good comments? people there. Is there any comments? Brag us. Uh, I think the only comment I, I saw so. from last week's podcast is that someone appreciated your Sun 41 shirt. Oh, thank you. I like the shirt. Got it at the concert. But yeah, um, I guess that will conclude us uh, for this evening. Um, thank you all very much for watching. Uh, again, favourite us if you're uh, listening to us, if you're watching on YouTube, like and subscribe. Join our Discord, ask us some questions for next week, and we will see you then. Peace. Bye.